Chad Gallivanter here, and I make videos about travel, history, and Florida life here on YouTube. The place we're visiting today is just off busy I-4 between Orlando and Daytona Beach. You don't see it from the highway and many people don't know it's here. Tucked away on 57 wooded acres is a place many call the psychic capital of the world. This is Casadega. Spiritualism is a religion that formed in New York State in the mid-19th century. It's based on a belief in the continuity of life, that while the body may die, the spirit carries on, that it's possible for the living to communicate with the dead. Otherworldly practices like seances gain traction after the Civil War. More than 500,000 families on either side of the Mason-Dixon line had at least one son, brother, or father killed. Many of the living wanted to reach out to the vanished loved ones and the practice of spiritualism where mediums claim to transmit messages from the beyond offered a direct line. Spiritualism reached its peak in Victorian America and Europe during the 1890s when it was said to have more than 8 million followers. George P. Colby was a well-known trance medium from western New York. He traveled the country delivering readings and mesmerizing people with his seances. He would accept whatever payment the client thought was fair. Colby claimed to have regular communion with several spirit guides. The most prominent was a Native American named Seneca, who he said spoke to him during a seance. Seneca instructed him to travel to Florida and set up a spiritualist outpost. Colby led a group of fellow believers here and purchased attractive land. In December of 1894, a charter was formed for the Southern Casadega Spiritualist Camp Meeting Association. Ironically, the word Casadega comes from the Seneca Indians, meaning rocks beneath the water. While Kobe never lived here full time, he did visit the camp on and off during his later years. In 1933, his health took a turn for the worse. He was provided with a place to live and the camp members saw to his needs. George Colby died on July 27, 1933. He's buried here in the Lake Helen Cemetery right next door to Casadega. Today, the Casadega Spiritualist Camp is the largest spiritualist community in the southern U.S. It is registered as a nonprofit organization governed by a board of trustees. There are just under 100 residents who call Casadega home. Roughly half of the population are certified mediums and psychics, and many conduct readings in their homes. What you see behind me is the Andrew Jackson Davis Building. Back in the day, it was the camp's recreation hall. Today, it's a bookstore as well as an information center where most people start their visit here. If you're looking to visit a medium, this board here at the Andrew Jackson Davis building has a list of mediums and their telephone numbers who are on duty each and every day. The building is named for this man, Andrew Jackson Davis, widely regarded as one of the greatest seers of all time. Across the street is the Casadega Hotel, the original burned on Christmas night, 1926. Camp members reconstructed the hotel in this mission revival style within a couple of years of the blaze. While the hotel is no longer owned by the camp, readings and seances still happen inside, and the hotel claims to be haunted by friendly spirits. The camp's tiny historic district is listed on the National Register of Historic Places. While there aren't many sidewalks, it is very walkable. Many of the homes in Casadega are century-old Victorian buildings, brightly painted and welcoming colors. 
Harmony Hall, two stories high with verandas and a wide central hallway, was built in 1897 as an apartment house. Brigham Hall, built the same year, has a deep porch and tall windows. The exterior is white painted board. The most imposing building in camp is Colby Memorial Temple. Built in 1923 and constructed of locally made sand brick, the Mediterranean-style auditorium has been used for meetings of all types. On the day we visited, the temple was closed for renovations. But we did manage to sneak this quick peek through the windows of the main auditorium. A number of relaxing parks can be found all around camp. Behind the temple is one of the largest and most serene, named after George Colby's spirit guide, Seneca. A gazebo overlooking Spirit Pond is an excellent spot to take in the natural beauty of the area and to simply meditate. Boasting 123 pristine acres is Colby Alderman Park. This well-maintained hidden gem overlooks Lake Colby, a great spot for fishing, and has walking trails through dense vegetation. we're in now is Horseshoe Park and Ferry Trail and I've got to tell you kind of blown away by this there's a lot to see in this little patch of land place is so cool. It's almost like a folk art museum with a little sprinkling of fairy dust. A local artist friend of mine by the name of Erica Group did these wings. If you're familiar with the wings that are in downtown Deland, she's the one who did those as well. In recent years, the camp has done an excellent job of going around to some of the historic homes and sites and putting up these informational signs to tell you more of the history of the town. With its narrow tree-lined streets and small rolling hills, Casadega is one of those unique American places lost in time. Thousands visit every year, especially during autumn, drawn by the community's reputation of being the place where Mayberry meets the Twilight Zone. Some come here for the spook factor after watching or reading sensationalized misinformation online. But many visit, often from hundreds of miles away, looking for answers and guidance, hoping to connect with lost loved ones. Whatever your beliefs, Casadega was established for a purpose, a higher purpose. And more than a century later, that purpose continues through the people who call Casadega home.